article back in February caused quite a sensation. Um, were you expecting those reactions? Or I had no wait, 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 wait. idea. Are you expecting <laughs> those reactions? Or do you think that journalists are living in denial? Um, I, I was not expecting the reaction and I do think that journalists are living in denial, yes. Uh, they, they don't understand, like journalists by their nature like to go out in the world and report on what's going on in the world and they know that what they do is a good thing and it's noble. And frankly one of the things which journalists don't know a lot about and historically have not needed to know a lot about is the structure of the media industry from a business perspective. It's not something that a good you know, investigative journalist needs to really understand. But that's what I'm trying to tell them is that the structure of the media industry has changed and you know, their livelihood is at risk. What do you think happened that has made journalists replaceable, as you call them? We've had this thing called the platform revolution, where people are not people are trying to create platforms for content rather than publications for stories. And the power of the individual you know, piece of content is less important than the brand value of the platform. And the content producers just become, you know, factory workers, basically. So what kind of skills would they need in order uh, to become less replaceable? Um, the skills which I think are useful are deep subject matter expertise, because that's hard to replicate. Um, also, very old-fashioned skills, like being able to structure a story, um, especially in audio, I think, that audio editing skills are going to be here for a long time they have been here for a long time and also illustration skills again have been around for a long time and they're something which are hard to replace but things like just basic journalistic techniques of reporting and researching and writing I think everyone has that now it's it's fungible it's commoditized and final questions would you consider yourself a media Marxist a media Marxist yeah. Uh, I don't even know what a media Marxist is, but it sounds good. Does it mean if I if I call myself a media Marxist, I get to hang out with Yanis Varoufakis and like wear a leather jacket and be cool? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs>